Hey, this is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Wednesday, February 8, 2023. Yesterday was a wild day in the markets. We had a quiet morning session followed by uh, some comments out of Powell that got the mark uh, screaming to the upside, rolled over, and then took right back off, closing up near the highs, 90 points of range. We have an outside day that took place yesterday, and that's what we'll be looking at in Discover this morning. Let me go ahead and get this uh, set up using all four instruments. Our setup is based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we're trading down just a little bit, um, and that matters for this test. It, it does matter which way we open, so I do want to point that out before we get to it. Um, we're looking at a gap down in range. It is looking... Um, a little bit more likely right now could go either way, but uh, down in range is where we're currently at. So that's what we're going to be testing. I'm going to go down to the price patterns library. And I'm going to grab that bullish outside day from our candlestick patterns, which is over here on the act of today. If I click on that, it gets selected. It's also in the candlesticks library right here. You can scroll down and see that. Next thing I'm going to do is put us in a similar market environment. We closed above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average yesterday. Then I'm going to click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when you are gapping down within the prior day range and the prior day was a bullish outside day that closed above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. Historically, we've got 65 samples here in the S&P, 60 in the NASDAQ, 65 in the Dow, 55 in the Russell. If we look at the win rates on them, they're all slightly favored. S&P coming in 55% of these closing above the opening print for the day. For the NASDAQ, it is 62%. For the Dow, 63%. For the Russell, 53%. If we look at the average moves, though, you'll see that the average losses on these are all larger than the average wins. So S&P is larger by quite a bit there. Uh, NASDAQ larger on the loss. Dow larger on the loss. Russell larger on the loss. And that's why you see... Despite the fact that all of these have win rates that are favored, the equity curves are all kind of pointing lower, and you're seeing negative numbers uh, quite a bit here in the S&P and the NASDAQ. So um, bigger moves to the downside, but more often than not, closing above the opening print. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.